All right, guys, this video is brought to you by imagefxmedia.com. We are going to do, uh, we're going to combine three pictures using mask, masking, and also the erase tool. We're going to see what the differences are, uh, which one is better and which one is faster, etc. Also, in this particular picture, we're going to, uh, in this particular tutorial, we're going to do a, we're going to use the patch tool. All right, so let me minimize this, and this is what we're going to try to do. Uh, we're going to combine three pictures, one, two, three, and we're going to see the difference of uh, masking and erase tool. So let me uh, get rid of this. As you know, you have your tool palette. You can make it a single column or a double column. I'm used to having a double column. And here's our layers palette. Uh, that's probably all we're going to need for now. So we're going to start with a new document, Control N, and we're going to make it 8 by 10 at 300 dpi, RGB color is fine, and the background is going to be white. Here we go, here is our document. Uh, we're going to bring the first picture, file open or Control 0, and we're going to bring, I think it's 43, 43, yeah, that's the way. Something very important once you open a document on Photoshop, I suggest you to make the picture, the document, to 100%. How do you know where is the percentage? You have it in two places. Right here on top, this is the uh, document uh, name. And here you see it was 16.7%. So this, we need to make this 100%. You can do it a few ways. You can come here at the bottom left, and you can type 100%, and that's 100% for you. So that's one way. The other way is you click the letter Z for your uh, Zoom tool, which is this one right here, and you click, click, you see how it goes up 33%, 50, 60, 100 percent. So this is 100 percent. All right, let me go back. I'm going to do all of it so you can take a look at it. Also, once you with the Zoom tool, you can right click on your mouse and just click where it says actual pixels. Here we go. Now, there's another one which is faster. Uh, just on your keyboard, do Control Alt Zero. 100%, and you can take a look at it, 100%, okay? So once you have the picture at 100%, uh, we notice that the little girl has some, it looks like mosquito bites. So we're going to fix this real quick. Uh, bring your uh, patch tool, which is the letter J, and it's right here. Patch tool. So the way it works, uh, let's just click one more time. There we go, much better. Letter J. Make sure you either have your source or your destination all transparent. I used to have just the source. So the way this particular tool works, it's very simple. You just make a selection around the area that you do not want if you have the source. And you just click somewhere in the middle and drag it to a place where the skin, in this case, looks alike. Click outside. Done. Very simple. We're going to do the same thing. Done. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. Done. On this case, we notice that we have some hair. It's because her forehead. So just bring it somewhere where there's a little bit of hair, and it is done. Also, you may ask, how can I do this? Instead of just using... Um, those, uh, I forgot the name of them, I never use them anyways. Uh, the way you do this, you just hold your space bar. By holding the space bar, you have your hand tool, which is this one right here, the letter H. So if you click here, you can move. But if you have another tool working on the document, just click and hold the space bar, and you can move the whole document at one one small area. So uh, in order to bring the document back to the original size, you can do 
several ways again zoom tool right click and fit on screen there we go or let's just let's get back or you can do control zero which is faster personally so we have the picture the one we want now how do you bring a picture to a new document or a blank document or any document there are once again a few ways to do it uh, one you click on the picture and just drag it and drop very simple okay let me do a control C another way is you do control A you select the whole picture by doing control A now you go to edit copy go to the document that you want to drop the picture edit paste here we go same thing let me uncheck this for now now another way that you can do it is the way I usually do hold the picture and just hold your shift and drag it and it's pretty much the same thing sorry pretty much the same thing so we don't need this we're gonna get rid of that we're only gonna keep one so now we're gonna name this sorry, we're gonna name this uh, looking perfect now we're gonna bring the second picture we're gonna open and I believe this one is 44 where are you 44 right here no that's not it 41 then where's my 41 this one perfect now same thing I'm not gonna fix the uh, mosquito bites on her forehead so I'm just gonna bring the picture here uh, before I do anything else I'm gonna name this I'm gonna call this erase tool this is the one we're going to work with only the erase tool now we want to have this picture right here kind of like this now we need to shrink or transform the actual picture how do we do that again there are a few ways to do it you go to edit and click on transform or and scale that's one way the other way is again edit and free transform or control T so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do control T and now you have those four handles let me just bring this up a little bit you can see the handles one two three and four you also have those two right here now with those four handles you can shrink the picture you can make it uh, larger uh, you can also rotate the picture and you can do a few more things with the uh, alt key but we're not going to do that right now we're just going to work on the uh, making this picture smaller so the way you do it is you grab one of the handles and you start making it smaller but as you can see my hands are not really that good doing this thing because I don't know if that's proportional um, I just don't know now but if you hold your shift look what happens it makes it proportional for you no matter where you no matter where you do it makes it proportional so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna drive it uh, somewhere around there let's just bring it a little bit here so it's gonna make enter now let me just uh, zoom in a little bit that's good obviously this picture is on top of our main picture so we want to if we want to use this as the erase tool so what we want to do is just erase all this all this part but we obviously don't know we don't know where she starts I don't know where her head is so what you can do is just drop the opacity and you can see her now so now you can erase all the parts that we don't need so we need one more zoom bring this picture up with your space bar and we're going to make the eraser a little bit bigger and the only thing we do is just erase away there we go once you have most of it you can bring your opacity back to 100 percent and then we can do the little ones that we just missed we can make this a little bigger so something like this her ear okay so let's see we like it 
we're just going to leave it like this for now. So this is our erase tool. Now we're going to bring 